welcome back my lovelies today is big people time in the kitchen eh? today we are making fried chicken drumstick with a pineapple and cognac barbecue sauce let's get to frying up that chicken earlier our drumsticks are washed with a little lemon and some water we rinse it up now. I want to make these lollipop style. I know it's a little old school, but it's kind of one of my favorites. So I've already done some, and I just saved one to show you. So with a very sharp knife or a knife that you're comfortable with, you're just going to cut around the top like this. Try to get all of the tendons and everything there. It's very simple to do this and then you just push the meat down to the base of the drumstick. If anything didn't get cut, you just cut it like that and push it down, down, you can use two hands. There we go. And this is our lollipop. Alright, so next we're going to season our drumsticks. So here I have fresh blended seasoning, see it, and it was in the freezer. Still bright and green, of course, this recipe is linked below for you. And I just pour it and I did it in small portions just so I can season a little bit of meat and the portions are suitable for me. Right? Then we're going to do some jerk seasoning. So we want this to be nice and spicy and I want to add a dimension of flavor in with some ginger. All right, so clean hands of course. We're going to mix our drumsticks together, get all that seasoning in and then we're going to let this sit while we make our cognac pineapple barbecue sauce. <laughs> Let's get adulting with this pineapple cognac barbecue sauce. The name says it all. You know you cannot just serve this just so willy-nilly. You understand what I'm saying? Be cautious. What is the warning that you get on the back of the alcohol? Consume, like I was drinking the cognac, consume responsibly responsibly is how we consume in this uh, right so I'm going to simmer my pineapple juice and I have here some brown sugar and a cinnamon stick so this is going to form the base of my sauce I'm going to stir this until it dissolves here and then let it simmer and reduce this is probably going to be the longest thing in this recipe eh? because my chicken kusumain in the corner remember we season it we wash it up we season it up let's have a little juice season it have a little ginger just I want you to think about all these flavors that we put in here eh? like what are ginger going to do with this pineapple all the way over here when they meet what's going on happen all right guys let's simmer down the sauce so we can finish it up quick okay so the cinnamon with that pineapple juice and that brown sugar. Already we are on our way. Now I have my crushed pineapple and I'm going to add and the star of the sauce. I put it in a teacup. Just in case you want to hide what's going on, now you can put it in a teacup, right? So pour it straight from the bottle. <laughs> and we add our big people juice, right? So we're going to let this just cook down. We want to cook up the pineapples a little bit and then we're going to add our last two ingredients and finish our sauce. Mm -hmm. Nice, slow simmer. We get everything cooked down, the pineapples soften up and kind of soak up some of that cinnamon brown sugar mix. Final two ingredients guys, some plain barbecue sauce. And you know us here in the Caribbean, we like our ketchup. So we put in a little ketchup in. <laughs> All right, so again, on a nice slow heat, we're gonna stir this until everything is incorporated. A little trick I like to do is I like to, when I mix everything together, I leave it on the heat, still very low. And when it starts to stick a little and burn just a little at the bottom, then I, I stir it and it gives us a nice little smoky flavor. 
I like to do it like that. So I think that it's called that bun bun, but I think that only applies in pilau. But let me know, is bun bun only for pilau and rice type dishes, or can I have bun bun in barbecue sauce? <laughs> All right, next we'll be frying our lollipop drumsticks. So we're preparing to fry our chicken. Of course, we need a wet and a dry to batter up that drumstick nice and good before we fry it. Two very simple steps. So we have some eggs here and some milk. I'm going to season this with just a little salt and black pepper. A little salt, a little black pepper. Seasoning all the way guys. We're going to mix this up nice even make sure everything is combined Egg yolks everything everything. This is the wet part of our fried chicken lollipops <laughs> Great, Simple like that Good. Now for our dry again very simple some all-purpose flour We have a little black pepper a little bit of salt, a little more than a little bit, and some paprika. And we are going to just whisk this evenly, like this. So all that flavor that we put into the lollipop chicken drumsticks is also going to be complemented here with the outside. The inside must match the outside. All right, so this is mixed up here. And now we get our vegetable oil hot and ready to fry. Final step before we can sit and watch a movie just for big people and enjoy this treat. So I have my seasoned drumsticks cut lollipop style. I have my egg and milk, which is my wet mixture, and my seasoned flour with salt, pepper, paprika, which is the dry part. I have my vegetable oil nice and hot, ready to fry. Let's go. So into the wet first, like this. Make sure and coat everything. And then into the dry. I think we might have lost this lollipop, but that's okay. That's all right. Nice, coated completely. And away from you and be safe. Catch the sizzle. <laughs> so you wanna just maybe push your meat down a bit before you set them in. This is gonna be a good one here. Into this, nice and wet. Coat again in the dry. Be sure don't crowd your pan. You wanna give all the meat a chance to cook evenly. Make sure and test it. Make sure that it's cooked, that you're not seeing any red coming out. Be safe when frying your chicken. You don't want to get sick or make anyone else sick. So make sure and practice good food safety at all times. I'm going to fry up the rest of these drumsticks. And you remember the sauce, the big people sauce that we make. We're going to dip that chicken in that sauce and get in. Don't forget to tell all you, this is big people tinga. This is our lollipop fried drumstick. Season up chicken, jerk season and ginger. We do it up nice. And then we cook down some pineapples and some alcohol. Now let me hit you with a few tips. When you're going to fry the chicken, put them in, cover the pot a little bit, let the inside cook up, then uncover for color. That's my tip to you. Also, when you're making your sauce, slow simmer. That will bring out all the flavors and thicken it up and make it nice. All right, guys. Big people time in the kitchen is over for the both of us. But take this recipe and do it for your adult friends. Guys, my lovelies, it's been such a pleasure with you in the kitchen today. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram for other fun stuff. Trini Food Designer Arlene, that is the handle. Check out our website for more recipes. If you missed any details here, it's posted below. Have a great day, guys. Mm.